Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we're going to go ahead and show you how to uh, replace a tire with a TPMS sensor. What you need to know about that guys, how to do it, so you don't damage any TPMS sensors. Those things can be expensive, they're in like a hundred dollars a piece, so we don't want to mess one up. Now, we already replaced one, we're going to show you. Most of the cars will be that way. We'll let the tire out and we'll continue. So your TPMS sensor guys usually is located on the valve stem most of the time. Sometimes it could be on the wheel, older ones used to be on the wheel, like uh, with a metal clamp, but uh, this one most likely, okay 90% of the time they're on the valve stem. So when you break the bead loose, you don't want to put any force there. So go past the sensor, okay like that, about 90 degrees. Okay let's do that now. go 180 degrees okay from where we went before and we'll be about 100 uh, probably about 90 degrees this way from the sensor okay so let's do that now okay and you can see this is guys where your TPMS sensor is located so now we're going to do the back side so the valve stem is on this side now, we'll do exactly the same thing. I'm going to put it down to about 90 degrees and we're going to break the rear bead now loose. Perfect. Now, again, about 180 degrees. Okay, so the valve stem is about right here now, almost about the top. Okay, you can see. And we're going to go ahead, do it again. Okay. And do not go all the way in when you do that, it's just enough to, to break it loose. After that, we're going to place the wheel on the tire machine. Okay, all the parts including that tire machine guys will be listed in the uh, description of the video below for your convenience. Very cheap but very good working tire machine. So I'm going to bring the valve stem to just right where it's going to pass okay, the tire machine arrow. Okay, like that. I'll pull it down. Now you have to be extremely careful here not to catch the sensor and then okay, just get the tire over. That way you're not going to pinch the sensor because if the valve stem is on the other side, you're going to break the sensor that way. Okay, so let me go ahead. Turn it now. Okay, now right here, what I'm going to do... Okay, you have two options. You can go again the same way, like I did. And let us show you how the sensor is now on this side. Okay, check it out. So you can see otherwise, okay, the tire will catch that sensor and it will break it. Now we can go ahead, okay, and take the tire off all the way. Now, you can see, I can go ahead, remove the arrow, and you can see how easy it was. Now, what we're going to do, we'll show you guys how to put the tire on because there is a few tricks as well. So we're going to lubricate the tire bit now. Okay, now you have to be careful, each tire has direction most of the time. So, or outside and inside parts. Some are not directional, but this one it says outside. So this one will go on the outside. Now, we'll do the same thing on this side here. Okay, now let me show you guys how we're going to do that. I'm going to turn the sensor now, actually, okay, to about like that. You can see the opposite of what we started. Okay, and the arm will come right here now. So, when it starts going in, it's not going to hit the sensor. Okay, watch now. Like that. Now, you want to do the same thing when you install. 
That's what we found what is the best for us guys. Some people do it different way. Yeah, okay, perfect. All we have to do, put some air, balance the tire, but that's how you guys do it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe guys to the channel for more videos and see you next time.